The last time Washington State was six and three, well, it was a while ago. Turn back the clock to 2006, but now in 2015, the Cougs have done it again. It also means they're going bowling. Well, hopefully. Will Sherwood has more from Pullman. The Cougs told us this week they wouldn't let Stanford beat them twice, and they didn't. After a slow start, Washington State roaring back to take out Arizona State 38 to 24, earning their sixth win in the season and bowl eligibility. I don't think it's a uh, very significant. I think we thought that we would <clears throat> we've been playing good enough to get to this point. You know, I think we're more focused on winning the next game and the games after that. And, and uh, we don't want people to be satisfied just because we're bowl eligible. We, we're trying to, you know, keep winning. That was gonna come with the win, of course. But you know, if we if we didn't win this game, you know, there's no bowl. We're not bowl eligible yet. But yeah, our team did a great job of just focusing on just preparing for this game, and you know, going out there and executing. And yeah, now we are. So we can celebrate now. Yeah, that was our goal since we started in the spring that we were gonna make it to the uh, bowl game. So us making it to a bowl game is really not a surprise to us anymore. So uh, we just gotta get ready for UCLA and uh, win that game, and so it can solidify us. Up next for the Cougs, a trip to Pasadena in one of the cathedrals of college football, the Rose Bowl, to take on UCLA and look for win number seven, which would guarantee them a berth in the postseason. Covering the Cougs in Pullman, I'm Will Sherritt, KXLY4 Sports. Thanks, Will. And the Cathedral will start praying now because the Cougs open as eight and a half point dogs. They'll be under the bright light Saturday for primetime. Kickoff is set for 745.